welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i've got a timeline haul for you I've got loads of different types of things but i thought i'd share them with you anyway so i've got two bags <laughs> so i'm going to start with this one here this is mainly like cleaning and stuff like that so i got oh two lots of bleach these are actually two for a pound um i used to use the duck one but i can't stand it now i'm one of these where i'm kind of like my mom uh, my mom used to put bleach in the toilets at night time and then flush it in the morning and i found with the duck one like with the green colored one you have to leave it for just a few minutes and or it just makes your toilet green so <laughs> these ones because they're kind of like pretty clear i can leave it for a few hours rather than obviously now the kids are at school i can do it in the morning and flush it before picking them up but yeah it means i can leave them in there for a few hours rather than it staining the toilet so i got the two of these because it's two for a pound and um i got it in the citrus scent right the next one i got was um it's a viacol i think it's called the lime scale this is the vinegar action i mainly got this because i've noticed a lot of lime scale building up mainly around the taps we have the taps that lift up and the bit when you do lift up it's starting to build some lime scale in it um i think because obviously when you turn it off it kind of dribbles a little bit and i'm getting fed up with it so i thought i'd get some of this to tackle uh, basically the top of the taps and that was a pound as well i think most of the things here were a pound right the next thing i got was this um some non-bio gel i'm really shocked to be honest usually this was a pound and usually when i go get stuff like this it's like three pounds and i saw it and i thought well i'm getting that <laughs> for a pound i thought yeah definitely i think it was for a pound anyway let me do a check yeah laundry gel non-bio one pound from i get mine from aldi and from aldi it's 2.99 and from other places you're looking at even more um so for a pound for 28 washes <laughs> yeah great so i got that as well um, I noticed, I got some of these actually when I was quickly nipping to the shop before getting the kids from school um, to pick something up and I absolutely love these. These are the little spray cans that you can put in those plastic things that spray on by themselves for so many, like, so many minutes. So like mine, I think it's something like 38 minutes, 19 or 8 that I can set it to. And basically I've had these in the toilets. Um, I do need to put it in the main toilet actually, that would be a good idea. But I've also got them in the kids' bedrooms. Especially because like Ava, for example, if she wet the bed, I'd rather it not linger. And these are really good, it's four in one. Um, it's like, gets rid of any odour. So pet odour and tobacco elimination, neutralises odours, acts in seconds and premium fragrance. Now I used to get mine from B&M, um, that were also a pound. But now since I got these ones a couple of days ago, these ones, the smell lingers, if that makes sense. So every time I go in Ava's room, I can smell it. But when I go into see my own sweet bathroom, I can't smell it. And that is a smaller space and the door's closed. <laughs> so you'd think it would, the smell would stay there, but it doesn't. But Ava's room, you can literally go upstairs and as soon as you get on top of the hallway, you can smell it. Um, I've started using Lavender Breeze because lavender is meant to help you sleep and she struggles with sleep. So I got that um, and with my son I didn't basically have, I only bought one of these and I thought now it's making it strange because now it's got summer, like a springtime smell in my son's room, lavender in my daughter's and because the room's literally next to each other, doors open, I don't want the smells to mix and this one obviously, I love this one, um, even though I'm not a lavender fan but this one smells quite nice. So I thought I'd get, I got two of them and I thought I'd get one to put in Andrew's room. Um, instead of having the springtime flowers that he's got now so it's like upstairs kind of smells all the same um, but yeah these are really good for a pound anyway and like I said this spray is a lot stronger than what I used to get at B&M they've also started um, selling the actual branded ones of those in like double packs and I was so debating by getting them but I can't the price is just extortionate they started bringing out the Christmas scents and one of them was cookies <laughs> Christmas cookies and I was like oh, I really want to get a cookie one um, and they had loads of different Christmas sets out but it, like I said for the twin pack it was a fiver um, and it's it's a lot so I'd rather not especially because I've got so many around the house and in similar areas I want them to smell the same so I'll just carry on with the one pound ones. <laughs> That's mo um, 
pretty much most of my cleaning stuff. Um, I also picked up some batteries. Um, I got the pound pack of AA batteries. Only get 14 in these. They didn't have any of them packs in the AAA. So I got the two pounds pack and this one is 30. Now I lived to Tesco this morning before to go to, before I went to Poundland. Um, and I don't know if a lot of you know, but I suffer from a lack of vitamins. My body doesn't absorb them properly. Um, for example, B12. I literally can't take that tablet because my body doesn't absorb the tablet very well. So I have to go in for injections. And I'm also lacking vitamin D and um, folic acid as well because if you've got a folic acid deficiency and a b12 deficiency it's a it's a type of anemia um i try and explain this to people and i'm like i'm anemic but not anemic as in i need iron i'm anemic as i need those vitamins and usually you're anemic in b12 or vitamin d uh, no b12 or folic acid and i'm both <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like double anemic. So um, yeah, I'm lacking vitamins and I went to Tesco today and I thought, right, I've pretty much run out of folic acid and my vitamin, because I have to take a high dose of vitamin D, um, the doctors no longer give you multivitamins or vitamins anymore. So, which means I have to buy the lack of the vitamins I'm basically lacking, which is terrible when you think about it, but that's what I have to do now. I have to buy the vitamins rather than get prescribed to me. Um, so I went into Tesco's today and I was going to pick up some more vitamin D tablets and folic acid. I couldn't find the folic acid but I was so glad I didn't find it because their pack of vitamins is £3.50. Um, I think you get 90 in it so it's still these still do work out cheaper but I've got vitamin D and this is a 60 pack. It does say one a day but it's in 12.5 HG. Uh, I these ones I need to double check how many I need to take of these so maybe that would be a downfall as well if I have to take double these but the I get a high vitamin D Tesco branded ones and I have to take two of those a day um these like I said I'm not too sure because I don't know it's 12.5 I don't know the, by the UG is the other one I know I take a thousand um so yeah I don't think I'd be taking 10 of these because the 12.5 UG is different to the other way that they measure it. They measure it with two units for some strange reason. So yeah, I've got two packs of these because like I said I tend to have to take two at a time. I have to take the higher amount. And then folic acid, um, obviously it's got a pregnant woman on there because anyone taking folic acid is usually pregnant. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm just lacking it. And this is actually 180 tablets. Oh, so that is loads better. So for a pound, I got 180 folic acid tablets. Yeah, you get less than that at Tesco. <laughs> and obviously they didn't have any in, but yeah, these were all a pound each. So two are the vitamin Ds and one are the folic acid. Um, the other things are just snacks to fill up the, we have a little snack box. Um, some requested by the kids for snack after school and then otherwise for like evening time. The one I got is Rich Tea Biscuits. Um, these are my favourite biscuits to dip in tea and they are my son's, so what we tend to do at night time. Probably won't do during the week, um, but when it gets like Friday or whatever, um, we kind of have a movie night or a games night and we get a cup of tea, get a few biscuits each and we just sit there and either play games or watch TV and have our tea and biscuits. So. He asked me today if I could grab some of these, so I did. Right, like I said, just something to fill the snack box for treats at night time or to have a little treat to go in their lunch box. So I got some of the buttons and this is a pack of 12. Also got some of the little Kit Kats. Oh, actually, these are four bar Kit Kats. Yeah, these will have to be like a treat. I like split them. I didn't realise there were the four bars one. I wanted the two bars one, but yeah, they'll have to be not school time because that's way too much trouble for school. Also we've got some Harry Bell. This is what Ava and Andrew requested for snacks after school. So I got the little pack of those. And then as well for school, which is a strawberry flakes. Um Ava actually I absolutely love these. Um we went through because she absolutely loves, loves fruit and fruit can be very expensive to buy fresh. Um, strawberries, they can eat really, really fast, so I don't mind buying some strawberries. But I went through the stage of trying dry fruits. Raisins, they absolutely love. But um, yeah, I bought cranberries, nobody liked them. 
even like the dried banana um, like crisp things, nobody liked them. But strawberries, they loved them. And I actually asked Ava if she preferred dry strawberries or fresh strawberries, and she said she prefers dry. So these ones are strawberry flakes. Um, it's hard to find, I find it's hard to find them without the yogurt, but these are the flakes, which is good without the yogurt, because Ava won't eat them with the yogurt on, even though she loves yogurt. But um, yeah, I got these, so they're just the strawberry flakes. Again, a pound, just to pop in there. Um, yeah, because it's class, yeah, it is one of your five a day, no added sugar, yeah. Um, just to pop in their lunch boxes for one of like the one of the five a days. I usually pop two of the five a days in there. So usually it could be a pack of raisins or an apple, pack of raisins or cherry tomatoes, pack of raisins, cucumber. Usually it's pack of raisins <laughs> because I like a dry fruit and then um, a fresh fruit. So I could pop these in instead of the raisins and apples, oranges, that type of thing. But yeah, um, they love these. And I think that is it. A lot of things I get from Powerland are mainly my like cleaning products and stuff. They have a lot in um, leading up to Halloween and Christmas. The Halloween stuff, they've got loads of that in at the minute. I was really hoping that I could buy like a plastic pumpkin. Um, every year we obviously go pumpkin picking and I absolutely love that. But we get stickers instead of carving them out. Um, and I buy the stickers online. But it'd be really nice to actually buy a plastic one as well. Um, because we just prefer the smaller pumpkins and they can be slightly pricey, especially when you go pumpkin picking. So, um, yeah, I really, really wanted some like maybe one or a pound or two pounds and they're just plastic. So, if any of you know where I can get just normal, like sized plastic pumpkins, um, not expensive, please let me know in the comments because I've been looking everywhere for them and I can't find them. I should try TK Maxx, I might have had some in there, but I'm assuming they're going to be a little bit more pricey and, um, like more of display, but I just want a regular looking pumpkin that's cheap. Another thing that I've started getting in there as well is Christmas things. They haven't got like decorations or anything like that in there yet. They've mainly got just the chocolate. So they have like the little, you know, tubes you can get with Santa and stuff on. They've got some of those, they've got the chocolate coins. Um, so yeah, if you're ready to stock up for Christmas, treats even though I don't really do that yet um they have plenty in there um so hopefully after what well, after Halloween they should start having a lot more Christmas things in there which is exciting because I can't wait for Christmas but yeah that is the end of the Poundland haul if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new I'm a mum two to Andrew and Ava who is seven and four I upload loads of different types of videos like motherhood lifestyle fashion beauty Tax hauls, cleaning, basically a lot. So if it's something you're interested in watching, don't forget to subscribe and also press that bell. I upload on a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and a Saturday at 6pm. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye!